Alps's leaders seldom return to their home countries. If they do, only bad news will await them. Maybe a judicial trial, public protests, or worse. But Sri Lanka's former president is apparently willing to take that risk. Weeks after fleeing the country, Gotabaya Rajapaksa wants to return. His party is already holding talks with the current government. They want to assure Gotabaya will be safe. What are the chances of this risky return? How will Sri Lanka's public react to it? We are just Sri Lankans here. Sri Lankan citizens are here to save the country, save the motherland. July 13, 2022. As Sri Lanka descended into chaos, their president fled. Gotabaya Rajapaksa hitched a military plane to the Maldives. Since then, a lot has changed. A new president, Ranil Vikramasinghe, has taken charge. Talks with the IMF are going well. Crisis at Sri Lanka is slowly finding its feet. But the past continues to haunt them. The disgraced ex-president wants to return home. It was unthinkable a few days ago, but Gotabaya Rajapaksa is reportedly keen. His party is seeking assurances from President Vikramasinghe. Safety is the obvious issue. Back in July, Gotabaya did not leave of his own accord. He was forced to flee. Protesters had overrun his presidential palace in Colombo. His gym, his private pool, all of it was taken over by the public. That's when Gotabaya Rajapaksa knew his time was up. He first fled to the Maldives, from there to Singapore, and finally to Thailand. So why return to Sri Lanka now? After all, the security situation has not improved. Gotabaya is still public enemy number one. So what explains his plans to return? According to one source, the money. Staying in Thailand is draining Gotabaya's resources. He must retain a private jet, a presidential suite and a coterie of security guards. That's several hundred millions of Sri Lankan rupees. If he returns home, he can save a lot. As ex-president, Gotabaya is entitled to state protection and pension. The question is, will the government agree to it? Initially, President Vikramasinghe denied having any knowledge about Gotabaya's return. I am not aware of anything. He has not told me that he's coming back on the 24th. Uh, neither any people here are aware of it. However, new reports suggest something else. They claim Vikramasinghe has spoken to Gotabaya Rajapaksa that the two men discussed Gotabaya's return. He is expected to fly back early September. Chances are more protests will welcome him. Activists are demanding legal action against Gotabaya and his ministers. They want him charged for mismanaging Sri Lanka's economy. For Ranil Vikramasinghe, it's a political challenge. If he facilitates Gotabaya's return, he will lose public support. He will be dubbed a Rajapaksa ally. If he doesn't, he could lose support in the parliament. Remember, a majority of lawmakers still belong to Gotabaya's party. So there are no easy choices for the sitting president. As for his predecessor, it's a risky gamble. He escaped the wrath of Sri Lanka's public once. He may not be so lucky the second time. South Asia Bureau, we on, world is one.